how to update my new Fire TV Cube. I've had a couple questions on this thing um, where they say, hey, something's not working. Do I need to update? How do I check that? Um, how do I keep my device fresh? So we're going to go ahead and jump into that. If you are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do consider subscribing. Smash that thumbs up if you guys appreciate this content. And leave me a comment below. Do you guys have the new Fire Cube? Let me know. Okay, so first thing, we're going to come all the way to the far right to settings and we're going to come down to my fire tv super important and then from here go to about and right there where it says install update this is where you want to check right below my head it says an update is available the update will automatically be automatically can't even say that begin the next time your amazon fire tv cube is not in use meaning if you're not using it if you turn off your tv walk away and it's just kind of been hovering there for like about five minutes it's going to start updating it if you notice that it does say an update is available go ahead and click on it it's going to say this might take a few minutes do not press any buttons on the Fire TV remote. So what I do is I grab it and leave the remote down on, on the table. Now, what this is doing is any kind of update that is gathering, it's going to start pulling that information in. You might want to um, maybe watch your TV. Your TV is going to turn off and it's going to turn back on. Just let it do its thing. So right there, it just it just closed and it, it didn't turn off. It didn't restart. It didn't do anything. It just says my current version is that. Great. Check for updates. It says your Fire TV is up to date. Now, let's just say you did do the update or you don't notice an update, but you are getting issues. You're still getting some sort of issues, some kind of glitching or whatever. Um, restart your Fire TV cube. Come here. Click restart. Are you sure? Restart. Restart is not deleting anything. It's not factory resetting anything. All it's doing is it's unplugging. It's almost like, like turning off the power and turning it back on. It's just power cycling off and then right back on. That's what it's, it's doing right now. So any kind of issues when it comes to that, if you're glitching, buffering, anything like that, that's what you might want to check. Now, last resort if you are, um, if it's still glitching, you're still getting some weird errors, go to your fire cube, unplug the power, wait about 10 seconds, plug it back in and see if that helps it. Um, it should, hopefully it should help it. Um, I believe the other trick is if you hold the home button, hold it for about like, I believe it's five seconds here. You can go to, um, settings and again you'll be able to go to my fire tv and then you should be able to restart it from there so pretty pretty simple feature right there now the other thing too with the new fire tv uh remote instead of holding that home button there is a little gear button right there so if you do click on that you should be able to get to those settings also so pretty nice let me know what you guys think try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest information if you guys are having any issues with your fire tv cube um, and you just need to do a, a simple reset that's how to do it yeah with all that being said i hope you guys appreciate today's content as always you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.